Good morning. Oh, good morning. Hey, did you catch that show on TV last night? Yeah, I saw it. That music show, right? Yeah, it was so cool. Hey, sorry. Let me through there. <gasps> oh my god! Uh, I'm sorry! We'll go! Bye! Uh... You didn't have to run away. My name is Toma Tanaka. I'm a sophomore in high school. For some reason, people have always been afraid of me. I wonder if it's because I'm tall and somewhat intimidating. Well, my father used to tell me I was unsociable for a long time. From my point of view. I don't know why I have to care so much about other people in my life. Is it really that necessary to live while trying to please someone else? Good morning, Tanaka. Good morning. It's almost summer vacation. Are you going anywhere, Tanaka? I guess I'll be doing makeup classes most of the time this year, too. What? Really? I'm not good at anything except PE. I have a lot of red marks. Oh, I see. Are you going somewhere, uh, Haranishi? Um, no. I don't have any special plans. So I'm just going to make up classes too. Voluntarily, of course. Aranishi, you're always at the top of the class in tests. Why bother? Well, I have nothing to do at home. And I feel more relaxed when I'm studying. I see. I don't understand that at all. Are all honor students like that? Akiko Haranishi. My classmate sitting next to me was a mystery to me. She talks to me without hesitation and always smiles at me. I've never met anyone like that before, so I was a little happy. By all accounts, she was brilliant. But that didn't make her arrogant at all. I'm a little bit attracted to that as well. Well, Haranishi probably only thinks of me as a classmate. If I show her signs that I'm interested, and she stops talking to me, I'd be sad. I'd rather leave things the way they are. What, you're still here? Oh, it's you, Tanaka. It's really unusual for you to be at school until now, isn't it? Yeah, I had a day off from my part-time job, so I was called in by a teacher. Oh, I see. Do you usually stay until this time? Uh, yeah. I have a lot of siblings, so it's very noisy at my home. And I can't concentrate on my studies because of them. I see. You're a dedicated student. It's just a habit. But I think I got a little something out of it today. What? Uh, no, it's nothing. Are you leaving already, Tanaka? Yeah, I came to get my shoes. Well, if you don't mind, can I walk home together with you? Oh, no! Watch out! Uh, th thanks. Oh, no, did I drop my glasses? What? Where did it... I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's okay. You didn't do it on purpose. But the frame is bent and cracked. Uh, really, it's fine. I think. Oh, no. I can't see it without my glasses. I think I can just reinforce the frame, at least. You're not gonna use it as is, are you? I don't think I can afford a new pair of glasses anytime soon. We're actually really poor, and my parents work really hard every day. 
they barely have enough money for tuition and living expenses as it is. If I tell them I broke my glasses, they would be so disappointed and more stressed out. I broke them, so I'll pay for it. What? No, don't worry about it. It will make me feel bad if you pay for my glasses. It's way too expensive. Just hang on and follow me. Isn't it inconvenient for you to not wear your glasses? Yes, that's true, but... Don't worry about it. Grab my arm. Okay. I'm home. What? This is your home? Uh, yeah, the second floor is my house. Hey, you're home. Wait. How unusual for you to bring a girl home. Is that your girlfriend? Uh, no, no, I'm not his girlfriend, sir. I'm just a... She's a classmate. Yeah, that's right. I'm a classmate. I accidentally broke her glasses. Oh, you messed up. I'm gonna need a new pair. I'll pay for it. Um... Um, I really... It's okay, you don't have to. Ah, let him pay. He's got a part-time job, I'll be fine. But still, I... You're a big guy too. You should be a little more careful. You're right, I'm sorry, Haranishi. Oh, Tanaka, it's not your fault, I told you. I'll be in my room. You can come up when you're done. Okay. Tanaka, can I come in now? Yeah? Are you done? He said the glasses will be done soon. That's good. Thank you, Tanaka. I'm really, really sorry. I know it's the money you earn working your part-time job, and now you're using it on me. I'm really sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. It's the fact that I broke it. You're really nice, Tanaka. And you're so kind. I have no idea why everyone misunderstood you at school. Maybe they don't want to get close to me because I'm so unsociable. I've been told that for a long time. I don't think anything of it now. From my point of view, it's rare for a girl like Haranishi to talk to me the way you do. Wouldn't it be a loss if you just judged people by their appearances and assumed everything about them? It could be someone who might actually be a kindred spirit with you. It would be a waste if you lost that chance to talk to them because of this big misunderstanding. That's a flexible way of thinking. But won't it put you in danger? Well, of course I'm cautious. But still, Tanaka, it's obvious that everyone just misunderstands you. Haranishi's eyes without her glasses were reflecting the gentle light of the setting sun. If she turned those eyes on me, she might see through my secret fondness for her. Haranishi, I... Hey, Toma, it's done. Uh... Huh? Well, what were you gonna say? It's done. I help you with the stairs. Okay, thanks. Thank you for taking me to your home and your father for making me a new pair of glasses. In fact, my new glasses are so light. And they're very easy to wear now. I see, that's good. Oh, and uh, here. Oh, are these contacts? I liked your face when you took off your glasses. Tanaka. I'm sorry if it's none of my business. It's, it's my ego. No, I'm okay. This is great. I've always wanted a pair of contacts, you know? 
I'm glad to hear it. I'll see you tomorrow then. Good morning, Tanaka. G good morning. You put on your contacts, huh? Yeah, but I'm not used to putting them on yet. I really had a hard time doing them this morning. I see. How is it, the fit? I thought they would feel uncomfortable, but this is amazing. It feels so natural. I guess what I assumed about contact lenses in the past was all a lie. She probably doesn't realize it, but... All the guys in the class are looking at Haranishi. I have a bad feeling about this. My hunch was right. From that day on, Haranishi was frequently asked out by guys not only in class, but all over the school. At the same time, Haranishi, who had been so close to me, suddenly seemed like a distant person. I don't know how to interact with her. If I'm too intimate, people will ask if we're dating. I just have a crush on her and there's nothing between us. I'll feel pathetic just explaining it. Oh, um, Tanaka. Yeah? Do you have a part-time shift today? I do, but... I see. Um, is it possible we can walk home together and I can just, you know, talk and you can listen? Okay. It's been a while, hasn't it? Walking home together like this? Yeah. So, I've been thinking... Um, did I do something to offend you, Tanaka? What? Why so suddenly? Lately, we don't talk as much as we used to before. And... We don't make eye contact either. Oh. So, uh, so I was wondering if I did something to hurt you, Tanaka? No, it's nothing. Then why? I want you to tell me exactly why you've been avoiding me. Otherwise, I... I don't know, it's just... Uh, about my feelings? feelings? I'm too embarrassed to say I'm jealous when I haven't even asked her out. Uh, how can I say it? Aranishi is really popular now that you stopped wearing glasses and started wearing contacts, right? So I thought it would be a nuisance to have an unsociable guy like me around. People will be taken aback, right? So that's why? Well, yeah, to put it simply. I see. Wait, did I do something bad? So, you shouldn't get involved with me so much. Is it really a nuisance to have me around? What? No, not at all! Am I really such a bother to you? I feel the same! So why do you assume that your presence is troublesome for me? Won't you listen to my feelings? Harnishi. Tanaka. I once told you. It's a waste to make judgments based on appearances, remember? Yeah? The people who come to me now and confess their feelings or ask me out on dates are the same as that I took off my glasses and I was unexpectedly good looking, that's all. They don't know my personality because they don't care about what's inside, right? But when I wore my glasses, no one ever approached me with that kind of intention. I never wanted the attention of such frivolous people. In fact, I find it rather annoying. Despite that, I still wear contacts because of one person. Because that person praised me for taking off my glasses. Could it be? Because you recommended them to me? That's why I wanted you to notice me. I wanted to be more than just your friend. 
Ever since I changed my contact lenses, though, I've been feeling so distant from you. I've been worried that I'd done something wrong, and I only want Tanaka to look at me. Haranishi was thinking about me? And yet, I was afraid of destroying our current relationship. It's my fault for not having the courage. Haranishi, I'm sorry. To be honest, I was jealous. But being jealous when I didn't even ask you out... is gross, isn't it? That's why I kept my distance, so you wouldn't know. The truth is, I cared about you a lot. Like, who's asking her out today? What if she tells me she's going out with someone? It's so lame, seriously. But Haranishi has always been special to me. You always treated me without any prejudice. And sometimes you even smiled at me. I was so happy to see you open up to me. I was afraid of destroying this relationship. If I was going to ruin this relationship, I didn't want to confess my feelings to you. But the truth is, I've always liked you. I'm sorry for making you feel uneasy. I've never been in a relationship before, so I didn't know how to act. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I was so anxious before, and now my heart feels so warm. I guess liking each other is such a happy thing to experience, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not used to it. <laughs> Me too. I'm always studying, so I've never liked anyone before. I guess we're new to this type of stuff, aren't we? In a way, that makes sense. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> From now on, no matter how clumsy it may be, I'd really like to be able to express our feelings for each other. Yeah, you're right. I love you, Tanaka. I love you too, Haranishi. <laughs> this is still too awkward. <laughs> it can't be helped. We're still getting used to it. You're right. <laughs> Wait! And that was my first kiss to you. That's not fair. Let me do it one more time. I'm okay, but what about your part-time job? I'll take a day off. I don't have time for that. No, you have to work hard. Then I'll go. So one more time. It's kind of embarrassing. Then we became a happy couple. The next day we caused a stir in class, but Haranishi didn't seem to mind at all. After that, we dated until we graduated from high school. And then went our separate ways. Haranishi graduated from a prestigious national university and a scholarship. And is not working as a lawyer. I'm training to follow in my father's footsteps as an optician. We're still growing our love at our own pace. The future of building happiness may be closer than I think. <laughs>